Okay, guys, it is the next day. Um, back from errands, picked up all of that stuff. Uh, once again, in case you missed yesterday's video, uh, a, uh, a guy that was doing some reselling for a while decided to get out of it. And uh, I got a hold of him when I saw a Facebook Marketplace ad that he was selling a few clothes. And I asked if he was interested in maybe making a bulk deal. Well, it turns out he was, and he was interested in making a bulk deal on a whole lot more than clothes. We had uh, some hard goods over there as well. So let's take a look. We'll flash back. Uh, I, I got a little bit of a video uh, inside none of the clothes, but we did get some of the hard goods. So let's take a look at that coming up. That is what we were dealing with, plus a, uh, a closet full of clothes. So um, I went through and picked out a bunch of stuff that I liked, and we ultimately came to a deal of, uh, of $200. So uh, Aaron threw a bunch of stuff in at the end and said, hey, why don't you take this, 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 this. He, he threw a bunch of stuff in, which was awesome. Um, he also then threw in some, and we'll go over this, but some eBay tape, some uh, some poly mailers, some bubble wrap. I mean, we, we got a bunch of stuff from him. It's a fantastic deal. He's getting ready to move. He wanted to clear out some space and get some of his investment back. So uh, I appreciated that, appreciate uh, him being willing to deal with me. A lot of this stuff is going to take a while to move, but uh, it is going to move and we're definitely going to make our money back. We're going to make some good money on this thing in the long run. So, Okay, guys, apologies for the light in here. This is uh, the spare bedroom and... Um, I'm using this just as a staging area to uh, to take care of this stuff. So this is what we've got. This mostly uh, hard goods, shoes, and there's some hats there you can see. And then that, a big pile of clothes over there that, uh, that we've got to get through. So let's go over some of this stuff. I'll just pick it up. I'll show it to you. And uh, you know as much about some of this as I do. You know more about a lot of this than I do. So let's go over it. Here I am sitting on the floor. And we're going to start going over this stuff. I really don't know what the best way to do this is, so we're going to give this a shot. We might as well go over some of the uh, the shipping stuff first, right, and the supplies. Um, I forgot to bring it in here, but uh, I got one of the styrofoam heads from Aaron, so that was really cool. And then this is a, uh, a bracket. There's a hole in the bottom of it. And so this is a bracket if you wanted to hook it up onto a table or whatever and then set the head on top. Uh, so far, it's been working. I took a picture of some... Uh, some hats, and that worked well just sitting in my light box. So uh, nice to have this. We'll see. I may end up. Uh, I may end up needing it. So very cool. It's a. Uh, it's a nice addition to the uh, to the listing arsenal. So got this and the styrofoam head. So let's get that out of the way. Also got a, uh, a whole bunch of clear resealable bags, so I can use these for uh, for clothes because I got uh, as you'll see here in a little bit a lot of clothes back there. So we got that got two of these. This will be nice to help keep track of uh, receipts, cash um, deals, because I don't have receipts for tax purposes. You want to be tracking all that stuff. Um, I didn't do a very good job during our first year because, frankly, I didn't realize we'd be as successful as we were. And uh, so now it's backtracking. I'm sure we lost uh, quite a few deductions when it comes to taxes. So this is going to help me uh, keep track. And I got two books of these, one of them already in my car and uh, already being used. So um, this is a very cool addition. Um, we also got packing tape, which is good. I have, I think, four rolls left. So this will be, uh, be nice. That'll, uh, um, that'll add to my arsenal. I, I love having a lot of packing tape on hand. So we got this one and uh, a partial package. So 
got that, which is nice. And we also got some eBay tape. Um, I've never used the eBay branded tape. I usually use my coupon for um, padded mailers actually from them or uh, non, or no, not the padded mailers. We get the, uh, just the poly mailers from them that I use for t-shirts, stuff like that. So um, never use that, the coupon on that, but uh, this'll be nice. So got some more tape. And then I got two partial uh, rolls of bubble wrap, which is fantastic because I was down to about, uh, I got one spare roll and then the one I'm using. So this will uh, extend because I got this one and I got this one. So that'll extend my bubble wrap capacity for a while. And uh, I think, yeah, okay. That's it in terms of free shipping supplies. Let's go into, nope, I was wrong. See that? There's so much stuff, I don't even know. We got a few uh, mailers as well. These are larger ones too, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, we got some poly mailers as well. Now let's move on to some of the hard goods. One of the coolest is one of the last editions. He kind of went uh, into a back bedroom and went, wait, I actually think I got one more thing I forgot about. You guys remember this guy from Ren, Ren and Stimpy? You remember that show? So, what do you want to do? They don't call me stupid for nothing. This thing's awesome. It's from 1990, I don't know, it's on here somewhere too, maybe? Yeah. 1992, Nickelodeon. So, this very cool. There's not that many. I think there's three others listed right now. I'll, it's it got a, quite a few views uh, straight off. It's nice that it's new uh, in the package. The packaging is beat up, but... Um, this is going to be a, uh, a nice sale when it comes through. This will make up uh, a good percentage of that money when it sells. So, all right, Red and Stimpy um, have also posted this. This is a uh, just an old uh, blueprint reading for mechanics and builders book. This from, I forget, I think it was like the 40s or 50s. So just an old book, that, not super valuable, but nice. Um, likewise, with, uh, with an old Bible, this is one of the new Catholic editions. I actually just picked one of these up. Um, a little bit nicer, had some pictures and that sort of thing, but actually uh, the new Catholic edition is what I just picked up here recently. You saw that in one of my thrift hauls. So this is a, uh, a nice Bible. I think it's, uh, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks, something like that. So this one's nice. Again, this one I think from 48, something like that. So pretty old Bible. Um, what else? And we've got some media. You guys know I love media. And uh, he threw a bunch of this stuff in and said, hey, just take this stuff. Most of these things, I'm either going to lot these up or um, sell them relatively cheap, $11, $12, that sort of thing. Uh, a lot of Western stuff, so like Bob Hope, Roy Rogers. Um, there's a train one. Train stuff sells pretty well, so I think this one will do okay. Um, this one's going to do okay, country music. Uh, what is this? The country classic hits of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. So we've got Bellany Brothers, uh, Glenn Campbell, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, what's funny is looking at this thing from Best Buy, it still has the sticker on here, $57.99 when this came out, season two of 24. These things aren't worth hardly anything even anymore, even new sealed. Um, it's just not worth much, but it is new, it is sealed, and eventually it will sell. So as part of a bulk deal, it makes sense. And again, um, this is one he just threw in at the end. Um, what else do we got here? We got more. Um, this one is, uh, Audie Murphy. I've actually seen Audie Murphy's, uh, grave, uh, at, uh, Arlington. Uh, this guy, if you, if you don't know anything about Audie Murphy, um, you ought to look him up. He was, uh, an incredible man. Um, but yeah, Audie Murphy, this is, uh, Whispering Smith. I think this one will sell eventually. So this this is not a bad one, not a high dollar, but it's a good one. Um, and then we got some John Waynes that I'm going to lot together. Um, we got the John Wayne story. We've got Three Godfathers, which is a fantastic old movie. And then um, two like sets. This one's got uh, 60 hours. And this one, the best of John Wayne. It's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven movies, including McClintock and the Hurricane Express. So, yeah, I'll put this together as a lot for like 25 bucks, and we'll see what happens. We also got media-wise, um, it's missing one, but uh, I'm sure we'll be able to sell these still. These are uh, Sony uh, digital video cassette uh, premium tapes. Blank Media sells pretty well, so we'll put this one up too as just new open package other 
you know, whatever. I'll find out. But uh, yeah, there's there's three cassettes here, so those will do okay. Okay, that's just reaching and grabbing what I can reach before we uh, have to scoot things over. This one, again, uh, uh, not super valuable, but new in the package, and it'll go eventually. This is a VHS to DVD video converter. So we got that. Um, we got some little, um, like little figurine. These are older. I don't know if it has a date on them or not, but certainly old um, Snoopy. And uh, who's that? Lucy. We got her. And then there's an old Snoopy thing here too. This one did have a date. Uh, 1965. So that's pretty cool with uh, Snoopy and Woodstock. And fun fact, I have the same birthday as Charles Schultz, the creator of the peanuts so there you go one random thing that you now know about me um what do we got here we got a uh, 440 camera i don't know if this is worth anything this was a throw-in just a uh, a pocket camera so we'll look that guy up um a couple watches i think one of them is nothing i think this one is no good um it's pretty cheap I think, um, and you can feel very lightweight, very cheap. But this one um, is interesting. This is a pulse watch, innovative time pulse watch. Um, I don't know if they were like a branch of Seiko, maybe. I'm not positive, but this is a little bit better. So I think that might be uh, like a $20, $25 watch. We'll see. Um, it, it, I'm going to have to sell it for parts as is because I'm not going to get the back off and get a battery and, and, and mess with that. I'm not investing anything in it. So we'll see. We'll sell it cheap for parts and see if it moves. More stuff. And this is in no particular order here. We got an old Super Bowl hat. This um, Super Bowl, what is that? XX Super Bowl uh, 24. Um, this, I believe, um, we got to get this up because this is uh, 49ers. We're in the Super Bowl. This was 49ers and the John Elway Broncos, I believe. So uh, cool old corduroy made in USA, uh, new era hat. So that's a cool one. We also got one of these. I picked these up. These are not super high value, but if you see these, grab them um, if they're cheap enough. The uh, the Pompanito. This was a World War II submarine, I believe. So um, somebody is out there that needs one of these. Uh, they served or their dad served, um, uncle, you know, whatever. So And usually, honestly, if somebody sends me an offer of one of these, so if you're watching and uh, uh, you have a relation that uh, has a tie to the ship, if I get offers on these, I usually post them pretty cheap. But if I get offers on these, I usually take them um, just because I figured somebody served or somebody knows somebody who served and uh, I'm going to cut them that deal. So um, grabbed this. This is uh, always, those are good to grab. Um, bobbleheads. This a Sidney Crosby bobblehead. Um, he's, uh, well, he's a superstar, so they should go pretty well. And this is a game day giveaway from 20, uh, 20, the 14, 15 season. Um, so fourth in a uh, in a series of four so you can't buy these in the store the only way you can get these at this point is on the secondary market so if somebody wants one of these um they're gonna have to go to a place like ebay to find it so uh, bobbleheads can be good especially the giveaways not necessarily high dollar but uh but they're good this uh really cool an old dakin elmer fudd um is something that's probably going to sit for a while but at some point a collector's going to see this guy because he's in really good shape he's got uh He's got the hat. He's got all of his clothes. There's not a lot of scuffing on here. Um, so he is in super shape. There's the tag. He's a Dakin from uh, late 60s, early 70s. So this is a cool addition. Um, an electric uh, organizer. Um, these tend to be pretty good, Franklin. This isn't a high-end one, but uh, ought to eventually move for 10 12 bucks, something like that. Um, Starbucks mug. Uh, I do enjoy a good Starbucks mug. This one, Starbucks Los Angeles. Very cool. It's got the raised uh, relief of the city skyline and just the red convertible down there as a spot of color. Really cool design. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe a $20, $25 mug. We'll see. It's super clean. So Starbucks mugs are always a good grab, even though they have slowed a little bit. Um, good grab for right now. This is uh, Monopoly, the NFL Collector's Edition. Um, it's actually pretty cool. It's got all 32 teams. I'll hold this up here so you can see the board a little bit on the back. Um, it's got all the teams on there. You got different. Uh, you got a linebacker, a quarterback, a cheerleader, helmet, referee's whistle, and the football. I think I would be the helmet if I had to just uh, randomly pick one. 
but it's a cool game and uh, different versions of Monopoly sell well. And the nice thing is while this has a little bit of damage to the box, it's from 2003 and it's still sealed in plastic. So there's probably not many of these around that are still sealed. So right now when people are thinking Super Bowl parties, this might be a good one to get up quick. I got a feeling this is going to last a while. So we're going to try and just blow through some of these uh, real quick. This, um, I'm actually not sure exactly what it is other than new. It's uh, some sort of AC adapter. I got to look it up. Replacement AC adapter. So I'll just look up the model number. My guess is it's, it's, a, it's a, I don't know, $10, $15 adapter. So that'll be all right. This, I don't know if they're worth anything anymore, but it's uh, it's new in the box. Skylanders. Um, this is pretty cool. If, uh, if they're not worth much, it makes a good gift, right? So we'll see. Um, I, th I don't know. We'll look it up. We'll see. I, I really don't know. Like a lot of this stuff uh, just kind of went on, uh, is it new? Is it easy to list? Or uh, or on a hunch, right? So we'll see. Um, what else is within reach here? Um, Marlboro. This stuff is pretty good. You used to have to collect the points and send it in and you could get stuff from their store. Um, I've sold a few of these things. Hoodies, hats, that sort of thing. So um, this I think is probably, it's just a, a, a duffel bag. Um, I'm going to guess that this is probably a $20 or $25 piece. Sorry, I'm bouncing all around. Um, I'm going to guess this is a $20 or $25 piece, so not a bad thing there. What else we got up here? This thing, I have no idea. Um, it's gigantic. The Halo. Um, this is the biggest thermos I think I've ever seen. It's massive. Um, I don't know if it's worth anything, but... Uh, if it's not, it's going hunting with me next year. So uh, I got that going for me. So gigantic halo. This is an Aladdin. I don't know if it says on the bottom what the... No. It doesn't say how big it is, unfortunately. Like the... Yeah, I thought it might say how big this thing was. But yeah, it's gigantic. So I've got a massive thermos. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, Mickey Mouse fanny pack. Um, I'm going to assume vintage because, uh, because it is a fanny pack, right? Even though they are actually kind of making a little bit of a comeback. Um, it came out of Walt Disney World. So it's got the Walt Disney World tag in it, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, there's no year or anything, but, uh, embroidered Mickey Mouse fanny pack. Super cool. Uh, here's another hat over here. What do we got? We got, uh, Cabo, I think. This is cool. It's got like a cork front on it which is sweet so i don't know you know i'm a sucker for hats and i grabbed a couple so we got another one there um i'm trying to go quick there's just so much stuff uh what do we got um a patagonia just a uh, a beanie um this uh i think this ought to go pretty quick this is probably a 25 dollar piece so that's nice um some more hats we got uh, a pistons motor city hat that one's pretty cool um Oregon Ducks. So there's an Oregon hat. Chicago Bulls hats are good. The Bulls stuff sells pretty well. So got some more hats to throw in the mix. And oh, and this one, th um, this brand sells well. Um, this, there we go. Uh, this is, now I can't remember the brand, but I remember um, looking it up. Uh, Kangle, I guess. I don't know anything about it, but apparently it sells well. So this is another one. Not a baseball hat, but it's a hat. Okay, how about shoes? I picked up some shoes, too. These are some uh, cool Adidas Samoa. Um, I don't know what the value is on these, but they were super clean, and they have a cool look, so I grabbed those. Um, these some Nike, uh, like, skateboarding shoes. These are super cool. Uh, again, super clean. So I like those and the size... What size are we looking at here? I don't know what it is. Um, it doesn't matter. It's a good size. They're uh, they're pretty big. So um, got those. We got uh, actually just posted these today. I'll move you out of the way. Um, unfortunately, these are uh, these are Kobe Bryant's. Um, they are not in fantastic shape. There's a little bit of scuffing on there. You can see you know on the bottom they were worn. But uh, still very cool looking shoes. And, uh, you know, at, at the risk of being somebody that takes advantage, you know, it seemed like a good day to put it up. I mean, I, they're going to get put up anyway. 
right? So uh, I figured might as well put them up today. So I did put these up and they do have uh, replacement laces in them. The original laces were blue, um, didn't have those. So I put in some black ones that I have, they're new, but uh, just replacement laces. So um, we'll see, we'll see what these go for. And then uh, we got over here some, uh, these are old uh, Jordans. Not super old, I guess, from 05. So that's getting there. Uh, again, don't know the value, but relatively clean. I think these are the mellow um, version. Like, I, it's got lace problems here. I'll probably have to put new laces in on these two. But um, again, part of a bulk deal. Um, you look at this thing as a volume operation. So I think these will be all right. And we got another two pair. Hold on a second. Okay, um, I got a pair of, uh, two pair of boots. Um, these are, let's see, PW Minor. I don't know the brand, but um, they're in very good shape. You know, they're, they're nice boots. So I think, uh, I think these will do okay. And then we also got these. Um, these are Ariat. And uh, Ariat does um, very well. That's a brand you want to look for. They have boots. They have jeans. Um, Ariat is a uh, is a nice brand. And the bottom on these are uh, super clean. So I think these will be good as well. Um, other random stuff. Old uh, Yashica camera. I really don't know. This was a throw-in. Um, got the case with it. This was another throw-in. He says, you don't want this, but you're going to get it anyway. Um the Ponderosa Ranch. I don't know. Maybe I'll throw this in with somebody that uh, somebody that gets one of those Western movies. I don't know. Um, this guy. This guy goes on your ball hitch. Um, I don't think it's a super high value thing, but it'd be super easy to pack. And it's new with the tag. So. Uh, there we go. This is, uh, well, I'm not going to take it out. This is a very cheap, uh, cheaply made, just a Chinese soldering iron kit. I don't know that there's any value here, but I might keep it to play with or give to my dad. Um, so um, we got that. And then this uh, cool Adidas equipment bag. I haven't looked at it to know if it's, uh, I don't know if it's vintage or anything, but it's got a cool look. Cool backpack so back to school i think that's going to do okay okay and with that we are almost out of the hard goods almost um we got this um a rainier beer this is i don't think it's got a date on it but it's obviously uh, a vintage piece agriculture a leading northwest industry um i believe they have he said um other ones like this and it's always different uh, imagery on the bottom. So this might be something I try local. We'll see. It's just a wall hanger, but uh, it'd be cool for somebody's den or office. And then uh, the one more thing that we got is uh, recommended by the Green Bay Packers. This is a Packer Fan Tours official tour company uh, stadium cushion. So I don't know. Um, we'll see next season. Maybe this goes. I don't know. We'll see. Again, remember, this was a $200 uh, bulk deal. So when it gets into uh, price per piece here, I don't think we got 200 things, but we might have got 100. So we might be looking at uh, a couple bucks for each thing. So um, that's all the hard goods and the shoes and the hats, that sort of thing. Let's dig into the clothes. These uh, these are coming back. I think these uh, the the big and baggy shorts look at i gotta step way back to get those things in look at that yeah so these will be good this is a uh, a pretty good brand to look for again apologize for the lighting in here it's not great um what else we oh okay and these again no particular order it's just how i carried them in the house this a uh a cool north face jacket it's got the hood it's got the black and red color blocking on it um I think it's pretty nice. I got to go over it, and make sure that there's no rips or tears or anything like that. But it's uh, it's an extra large North Face. I don't know, thirty five bucks, something like that. We'll see. Um, this thing is uh, this is really cool. This is a double X, as I recall. Yeah, 
Uh, Double X Cabela's Outdoor Gear. This is like a rain, heavy duty rain slicker. This is not like the cheap deal. This is a thick um, deal. I bet this is like a $50 or $60 jacket, actually. So that thing is really nice. Um, Texas Longhorns uh, Pullover. Just a hoodie. It's got Nike on there, so that's good. Um, and this one, uh, Stanford, same idea, just a full zip um, Stanford hoodie. So I think this will be uh, this will be pretty good. All right. Um, hey, Lacoste, alligator, crocodile, alligator, crocodile. All right, you tell me. Um, but good piece. Uh, which one is this? Okay, there you go. This is a uh, this is a Harley. So, not uh, super exciting. It's just got the black outline there, but um, it's Harley. It's official Harley gear. So, yeah, when I'm grabbing multiple things, I'm gonna grab Harley. And it's got I don't know if we can see in here because of the light, but it's got a cool uh, cool graphic on the back. It's a black on brown, so it's kind of hard to see, but. That's actually kind of what makes it cool. Um, old starter Notre Dame pullover windbreaker. Unfortunately, I think it's, yeah, it's a large, so I'm not going to keep this one. If that was an extra large, I'd be keeping this one. But uh, that thing's really cool. That thing's going to be a good sale, I think. Um, this thing, whoop, I'm throwing things around. Broke the hanger on this one. We'll go over here. It's a little bit better light. I'll show you over here. Um, this, I don't know the brand. You see, Safety Back. I've never heard of that brand before. Um, but it's clearly vintage. It's got a cool graphic inside. This is a uh, hunting vest. I sold a hunting jacket from Remington a while back for like 50 bucks. So uh, I took a shot on this one. Here we've got another Harley. This is a... Uh, Bear Tooth Harley Davidson, that's the Montana uh, in Billings. So cool bear graphic on the back. This is the back. I think the front just has, yeah. Um, it's got Harley and it's it's got some eagle tribal stuff down the side. So um, this is a pretty cool shirt and it's in a good size as I recall. Yeah, XL. So that's probably a $15, $20 shirt. So that'll be all right. This one's Spider. Spider sells really well. I actually noticed Spider, uh, particularly on uh, Poshmark, it seems to sell well. Even Spider Kids sells well. So Spider, a name to look out for. That's a good one. This one, I don't pick up all these anymore because it's really slowed down. Um, Orvis. But this one is uh, a large, so it's a good size. It's 100% cotton. I, I like the blends, but it's kind of cool. It's got a cool vintage look to it. It's like the Grandpa Tweed. So, picked that up. This one, oh, this is confusing. Look at this. It almost looks like latch hook type stuff. And for a minute, I thought that somebody bought this and stitched it on here. But it's an official Disney tag. So, I don't know. Maybe it had a design and somebody latch hooked over it. Or maybe this is just, I don't know. Um, it's a small, so it may sit for a while. But it was pretty cool. So, grabbed that. Um... This is a really nice Chicago White Sox. Well, there you can see it was $6.99 at Goodwill. This is a, uh, a Nike team gear. This one I'll probably have to get posted fairly soon. Um, just because I think it'll move. So, yeah. White Sox pull over. And there's more, guys. There's more. We got lots more. Um, State of Hockey. This is Minnesota. This is a... Uh, there it is. This is from this... Well, whatever. There you go. It's from the Stadium Series. So, uh, probably a pretty rare um, shirt. That might be a $15 or $20 shirt, I'm, I'm hoping. Um, here we go. You know that one, right? Everybody knows that one. Um, Patagonia, just a cool button shirt. And again, size is important. This one, a large. And it looks like a large, large. So, um, I think this is going to be a really nice flip on that Patagonia. Let's keep going. And we're back to uh, we're back to Harley Davidson. This is Myrtle Beach, 2010. So that's 10 years old. This is a uh, in a spring break week, which is or spring bike week, which is cool. Um, this is not a cutoff. I don't 
think it doesn't look like they did that on their own. So just a, uh, a sleeveless, which is cool. Um, the front, just a little logo. So I think that one's going to be a good one. These always good. Keep an eye out for these. Masters. And this one actually a uh, Peter Millar Masters, which uh, I don't know if they normally do. I don't, I don't know if Peter Millar normally does their stuff, but Peter Millar, a good one to look for. Masters, a good one to look for. When you put them together, I'll take that. Okay, another one. Let's move it over here into the better light of our bad light. This one, pretty cool. It's like a chambray. It's a really different material. It's like a chambray, but it's pearl snap and like embroidered roses, which is really cool. And it is an H bar C ranch wear, which is a good vintage ranch wear to look out for. So just a black shirt, not a great size, but, uh, but a cool design. This one, the patches are cool. I think someone's going to get it for the patches. Don't know what they are, but they look cool. There's that one and there's Colt firearm. So this is just a cool vest. It's from, uh, who is this? The suspense is killing us. And so is the lighting. There you go. Wow, you gotta be kidding me. There we go. Campery? I don't know. But I like it. It looks, uh, it, it could almost be new. We'll, of course, sell it as pre-owned, barely worn. But uh, in fantastic condition. Uh, nice vest with cool, cool patches. This one, new with tags. This is just a Seattle Seahawks um rain like a rain poncho essentially but um new and the tags so in great condition good size i think that one will be good um here we've got this sells pretty well this brand national geographic this is a double x so this will be good and this is a nice material so i think this one is going to sell really well you can see there oh well, maybe there you go high percent polyester and it's got a cool lining. So keep an eye out for Nat Geo stuff. Um, this one, not exciting. But um, Nike and Tiger Woods. So um, a cool Nike Tiger Woods dry fit. It's still going, folks. Nike. Um, this just a, uh, a sleeveless jacket. So I think this will be fine. Um, again, dry fit, dry fit stuff does well, and it's got the cool uh, dotted Nike on there. This one, very nice. On the front, very understated. Just the Patagonia, right? It's a medium long sleeve, but the back graphic is really cool. Like a, It almost looks like a rainbow trout, I think is what we're getting at here. Fly fishing, it's a rainbow trout design. It looks really, really cool. I think this is going to be a good one. That's another one that if it was larger, I would keep it. Um, what do we got here? We got Harley Davidson. We got another Harley shirt. Um, this one is a 2X, which is nice. Cool graphic of the engine on the back. Dudley Perkins, San Francisco. So that'll be a good one. This one, just a, uh, number 22. This is a Michigan Under Armour, uh, just like a baseball jersey. Um, oh, here's one that we'll be able to see in the bad lighting, right? You know, that brand, if you don't, you should. Is it Kugi or Kuji? I don't know. Tell me underneath. Cool, um, cool design there. The edging on the collar. Um, button front, because it's got the buttons on the collar. This is a cool shirt, so I don't know. It's not, it's not a sweater, but I think it's going to do really, really well. Um... Got a few more. This one you won't be able to see. <laughs> this is one of those military um, wool sweaters. It's got um, the pocket on there that, like I said, it's dark in here. You probably can't see it, but uh, I promise it's good. Got a lot of dark clothes, unfortunately, and a dark back bedroom. This is another um, cool piece. This is a Tommy Bahama, which has gone down. The market kind of got saturated, but it's got a cool design all down either side. So I think this one will be all right. This is a cool Tommy piece. And 
All right, our last one. Marlboro, again, an XL. I haven't seen a Marlboro blue. I promise this is blue, despite the lighting. Um, I haven't seen Marlboro blue. Typically, it's it's red. So I think this might be cool. It might be unique. Maybe it's not, but uh, it's in good shape. Marlboro stuff, as I said, it's a hard word to say, but it sells. Okay, so that's what we got. Um, once again, $200 for all of it. Um, tell me underneath, what do you think? I thought it was a really good deal. You tell me, what do you think? Did I make a good deal or did I make a deal that, uh, I mean, I think I'm going to make money on it, but how long is this stuff going to sit? I don't know. You tell me, what do you think? Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, we are inching toward 300 as I'm recording this, which is awesome. Uh, I'm hoping to hit 500 by the end of the year. That was my goal, and we're already uh, more than halfway to that. So very, very cool. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Like it, comment it, do all the things, hit the bell. You know how the YouTube works. Uh, I hope we're bringing you stuff here that is of some value to you. If there's something you want to know, let me know. Uh, if there's a video you want to see, let me know. I don't know it all. I don't know a fraction of it, but I'm learning and I want to share what I do know. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for looking at our uh, reseller inventory haul. That's what I got for you today. We'll see you again next time, guys. Thanks.